Welcome to the Nomadic Vibes. Today we're going to be talking about 10 things you need to know before you come to Canada. So stay tuned. about traveling to Canada huh so let me tell you 10 things that you really need to know number one Canada it's a multicultural country well I bet you already knew that one but you come here and you will find food from all over the world and it's amazing if you're thinking of coming come with an open mind because you're not only going to be listening to your own language you will be listening to Arabic Slamic. Spanish, English, French. Number two, Canadians are nice. I know it's mind blowing. It's like, we, no one told me that before. Yeah, right. It's everywhere on the internet. Number three, if you're thinking of coming and work here in Canada, my advice is learn English or French because they are the official languages here but I noticed that a lot of people have lived here without knowing any English at all and they have survived so what they do usually is they go and stay in between their own community my advice is learn the basic phrases okay you need to survive you still need to get groceries you still go out and eat or you go out party number four the weather it's amazing what i'm going to tell you but actually canada has four seasons people think that maybe canada has an eternal winter when it's not they do have summer and it's our spring summer fall and winter Number five. So far, I noticed that Canada is so such a pet-friendly country, but it's not a pet-friendly country at the same time. So let me tell you why. I see a lot of on like people walking their dogs on the street, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the weather. If it's raining, it's snowing, it's windy, it's sunny, they walk their dogs. But what I don't understand is. How is that they find a place to live where they allow dogs? Anyway, I found out that it's really hard to find places to live that they allow you to have your dog with you. Number six, something I really like about Canada, it has a lot of green spaces. Of course, we live around the suburbs and they grow like this way and not this way. So we have a lot of space around and it's nice to be able to see the sky, to have a lot of trees. Number seven, it's safer. Okay, to Canada, it's safe. I don't know if that makes sense. I come from Latin America and for me saying that a place is safe means that I can go out, I don't need to be looking behind me or like being worried. Number eight, so if you're coming uh, and you don't have like a huge budget, okay, let's say you come from a country that you don't have winter, right, so maybe you don't have winter clothes where you live, you need to come and get your clothes here, but you're not going to spend spend a lot of money in something that you might just use like during just during your stay you can find really good stuff in secondhand stores I noticed that there are things that are really used there like old but there are also things that are new like they still have their the price tag number nine Canadians pay a lot of money in phone plans and housing the phone plans here are crazy expensive and housing too as well talking about phone plans if you're coming my advice is don't get a phone plan 
It's so easy to get Wi-Fi in public places like coffee shops, public libraries, the mall, the airport. If you come and you want to have like uh, how to move and you don't know exactly how to move, you can download the maps in Google Maps. It's a really good app. You download it and then you tell it where you want to go from point A to point B and it will tell you the route, the bus, the public transportation, if you want to take Uber, if you want to do that. So you can just save all that and just go. Okay, and with that we finish 10 things you need to know before coming to Canada. So if you want to know a little bit more about one thing in a specific, let me know down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe, and click the bell so you will know when we post new videos. So until next time, 